what's up it's your coach and your realtor Leslie Wynn um, this is my coaching se segment for today I remember when I was first um, going through the my the divorce my divorce from well, eight, almost eight years ago and um, it was not easy it was not an easy situation and a lot of people who might hear this can probably identify you know you know that it's a situation that is not going to continue but that doesn't make it any easier to to end you know that you have to end it you know that or maybe it's the other person who has chosen to end it right so you know you knew that it was coming or you sensed that it was coming and and part of you is willing to realize and admit to the fact that it's not a healthy situation and it needs to end but that doesn't mean that it hurts any less so when I was in that spot I had to pray right and I had to not only strategize what I was going to do next to take care of myself and my family but I also had to look within and I had to strategize okay how am I going to get through this how am I going to get over this and let me tell you what if you neglect to strategize how you're going to get through and over this in a healthy way you're not setting yourself up to win you're not because there are going to be days where even though you know you're doing the right thing there's going to be that part of you that wants to go back just because it's still you, you become accustomed to the situation and whenever whenever you have to shift and it's something that you've been in for a long time even when it's something that's not healthy that shift is still uncomfortable so if you do not plan it out if you don't have a, an escape plan meaning if you don't have a plan where you say okay well what if today I really want to call that person if you don't have a plan saying okay if that happens I'm gonna do this this and that I'm gonna call this other person I'm gonna to speak to this family member if you don't set yourself up for success you are likely to go right back to that situation. I'm telling you what I know. So, back to what I did to strategize. So I just gave part of it. Like I had to, I had to say to myself, okay, if I really feel that I may call this person or I may reach out to this person before I am healed, what can I do instead of doing that? Who can I speak to instead of speak, calling to speak to that person, right? So I had to have a healthy alternative to a toxic temptation, okay? So remember that you want to have a healthy alternative to a toxic temptation, okay? So if you're in that spot, I encourage you to take some time because like I said, every moment matters and you matter. So you have to plan for your own life's success, okay? So um, in addition to that, in addition to planning what you're going to do, you have to make sure that you start to, if you haven't already, you have to start to build a community of people, okay, who are going to help to support you um, toward that transition and in that transition. So whether it's relatives or friends or friendly co-workers who you, um, you don't have to tell them all your business, okay? But it might be a situation where it's someone who you know is trustworthy and you would like advice. Without disclosing things that are not necessary to disclose, you can ask them for advice. If it's someone who's offered to, you know, to, and said that you could call them, don't always feel like you are a burden, Sometimes we have to learn to, to receive from people. God placed us all here to not only give, but to receive. And for a long time, that was, that was an issue for me too. I didn't like to ask, but sometimes you need to ask. And when you're in situations like that, you need to ask. Okay, reach out to people, start to build that community. 
if you have children, it is a must. It is a must that you also begin to find the community of people who are safe for your children during this time and who will be able to provide, you know, additional guidance to your children, especially for parents, okay? If you're transitioning from being a married parent to a single parent, your child is in a situation where they are scared. They may be blaming themselves and not tell you, okay? So you want to check in with your children. You want to find out what's on their mind. You want to ask them if they feel as though it's their fault. You want to make sure that you let them know and you make sure that you let them know, okay? That without a shadow of a doubt, it is not their fault. No matter what may have transpired, um, no matter what may have been said, you want to make sure that they know it is not their fault. They are also looking to you and relying on you because they are afraid too. This is a transition for them. And this is why it is so important to build community so that you are being strengthened, but also so that you can help strengthen your children and so that they can be strengthened by the community. Um, reach out. Uh, there, you know, there's there's so many lessons that that I learned and there's so many things that we can touch on. Let me know if you want me to do another post like this. Love and blessings to all of y'all. Make the most of this very moment. This may be the moment that leads to the destiny you have been praying for. But will you recognize it? Recognize it. Love and blessings.